Hi guys, in this video I talk about memory. In particular, I will describe the stack and the heap, with a focus really on the heap. Now, I want to use a basic example to bring across the idea why the heap can be important. I will use a main function with a single prototype create int that returns an address to an integer, and the implementation here of that function is below the main. On the right side, I have the stack with a single stack frame for the main, and at the bottom, I have the heap. Now let's see what, what the problem is with this program. So first in the main, I declare a pointer called PTR, and I initialize this to the return value of create int. Now inside the main, I have the pointer declared. Initially, I don't know what the value is because first I have to execute the, uh, the create int function. So when I run this, when I enter, now I make a function call, so a new stack gets pushed, a new stack frame gets pushed onto the stack. This is for the create in function. And inside here, I declare a new variable b equals three. Now on the next line, I want to return the address of b. Now take a moment and think why this can be a problem. So what happens is when I return, the stack frame gets pushed off the stack, but yet I return the address of B. So stack frame is get pushed off the stack. I return the address of, of B, but B no longer exists. The memory where B was stored is now freed up. It's available to use again. So anytime the operating system can decide, I will allocate this memory again for something else. And when you try to access it, your program will crash by because you access bad memory. So what you want to be very careful of that you don't run into this application. It may work if you run it once. If your program is small, maybe it's fine, but it might as well not be. So this is really problematic. Let's see how we can fix this with the heap. Now, instead of declaring a local variable here inside the function, what I will do is I declare a pointer and I will use dynamic memory allocation. I will use new int. New int, specifically the new operator here, or allocates memory on the heap. So I have some memory here for an integer. And I can store some integer value here. Now, I will use the pointer. So first I allocate memory. Now I have memory available. There's really nothing in it. And when I go to B, and let's say I initialize it to three. Now in this memory location, I can store three. So now I have three on the heap. And now instead of returning address of B, I don't want to return address of B. What I want to do is I want to return the value stored in B. And what is stored in B? The address of this memory location. So let's put back the stack frame. So when we execute this again, we have create int here, the stack frame for create int. So I run this. And this is where we are. I just called create int. Create int creates a memory address, B. Now B stores an address of where three is located. So it's, it returns the address here for this memory location. Or we could say the address is X. So then it would return the address of X. So I store the address of X, I assign three to it, and then I return it. Now when I return it, this stack frame gets pushed off the stack. Here I have the address of x assigned to pointer, and pointer will point to the heap. So it no longer points to any other variable in other stack frames. It really points to the heap. And now when I run this, go further, there's no problem with it. The only issue is now, because it's on the heap, whenever we allocate memory on the heap, we have to manage that memory. So when I no longer need it, I have to call delete PTR. 
delete PDR essentially deletes this memory or, or frees up the memory on the heap so it can be used again. And note that delete pointer you can call anywhere. You, you could even have another function pass this pointer to the function and then delete that pointer inside that function. But it's really up to the programmer to manage this type of memory. Now I'll give you another example. Let's say we have a function create array. So sometimes you want to create an array inside a function. And when you create the array, you want to return it. This is again where you will use dynamic memory allocation. So we use new and let's see an array of 10. I initialize this to the default value. So an array of 10 zeros, and then I return it. This one again works fine because I use the new operator. This array, let's call the address y, is stored on the heap. So 10 zeros. Let's actually make this five so it matches. So five zeros, this gets allocated on the heap. And when I return it, I re just return the address to it. So if I have array here, create array inside the main stack frame, I have a variable array, which is a pointer, and it returns and stores, it, it, it gets the return value from the create function and stores that address in the array variable. Array now stores the address of Y, and that is memory that's allocated on the heap. So there's no problem um, returning from it, even though it was declared as a local variable, because we simply return the address on the heap. And it's not freed up when we exit and push off the stack frame for that function. Now also with the array, when you no longer need it, you need to free up memory. So you have to use delete. Now it's an array. So use the square brackets and then array. This will free up the memory here on the heap for that array. I hope this gives you an understanding of how you use dynamic memory allocation and what's going on, on in, underneath the hood on, in, the, in memory um, between the stack and the heap. Thank you for watching.